Are we going home? No, we're not going home. I need to take you to school. I don't want to go to school. Of course you don't. Who wants to go to school? No, I go back to my old school. I just don't want to go to a new school. Well, you can thank your dad for that. I won't know anyone. Put that phone away. Are you okay, Mum? Jessica waiting, darling. Come on. That's Lizzie's car there. Is he? What are you still doing here? It was me. I, I stopped him, Pia. Was I asking you? Was I? No. You. School. Bye, Mum. Bye, darling. Hey, Pete. Is he all set? He is. How's Moira? Nah, you know, nothing's changed. I've taken as much time off my work as I can, but we're getting there. You're the same, Pete. Hey, <laughs> right, you two. Behave. See you, Liz. See you, Pete. Your dad's some man, Mark. Your mum's a lucky girl. Are you looking forward to second year? Yeah, it's quite scary. Jessica, I'm talking to Mark. Are you looking forward to your last term? I'll miss Mr. Wilson. He was probably my favourite. Jessica, can you let someone else get a word in edgeways? Sorry. Don't be sorry. Be quiet. Thank you. Jackets off, thank you. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Mr. Rawson. I'd like to introduce you to a new member of our class. This is Sam. Let's make her welcome. Hi, Sam. OK, you find yourself a seat, Sam. Uh, who would like to buddy up with Sam and show the ropes on her first day? Jessica. All right, get yourself a seat next to Jessica. Uh, Mark, uh, budge up and let Sam sit there. But, sir, this is my seat. She could sit somewhere else. Not the kind of welcome I'd expect for a new member of our class. Move up one. I'll just sit over here then. If that's what you want, Mark. But no one's saying you have to sit all the way over there. Did your dad get a new job? Did your mum? My mum got a new job. I think it's quite hard. She's really busy and really tired. We moved over the summer. My dad's still at our old house. Where did you move to? Is it nice? Why is your dad still in your old house? I can't tell you. Uh, why not? Do you not know? That is so weird. If my dad was somewhere different, he'd tell me. No, I can't tell you where we moved to. Why not? Do you not know? Now that is weird. Were you like blindfolded or something? You'd be like a spy or something. Why can't you tell me? Okay, but it's like a really big secret. Okay, so you can't tell anyone. 
We live in a refuge. Oh, OMG, that is amazing. What's a refuge? It's a safe place. Where did you get to? I went mean, for you at the huts. I was showing Sam around the school. I can show you around too if you'd like. At lunchtime. Will I meet you both at lunchtime? Yeah. Actually, we can. I better show Sam myself. Let's go, we better get in. Right. As you can see from your desks, we are going to paint. But what do you think we're going to paint? All right, Mark. And we'll finish five minutes ago. Where have you been? Toilet. OK. Well, I was just saying we're going to paint, and I was asking folk what they think we might be painting. What do you think? Maybe. I think we'll be painting a picture, Mr Robson. Your voice has changed, Mark. Good guess, Jessica. But, Mark, a painting about what? It might a be. horse or a house Jessica. or maybe a... Sorry. Mark, what did you get up to over the holidays? Something that really sticks in your mind. My dad got me fish. Fish? Yes. Three. Did they have names? Fish, chips and pickle. Why fish, chips and pickle? Because whenever we get a chippy, my dad always gets fish, chips and a pickle. Good names and a good story behind them. Right, let's see... Jessica. We went to Spain. It was very hot, very, very hot. There was a beach and there was a pool. Sometimes we sat on the beach, sometimes we sat by the pool. Why would you have a pool if there's a beach too? I don't... Because isn't that weird? That is so weird, isn't it? Not as such. I mean, a beach has the sea and a, and a pool, that's just water too, but smaller. Jessica, thank you. Sounds like you've put a lot of thought into your holiday. A lot of thought. For the purposes of today, let's condense that to I went to Spain. Sam, what did you get up to over your holiday? We moved. My you moved into a secret house? Sorry. Well, since it's a secret, let's not dwell on it, eh, Jessica? Tanzil, what did you get up to over the holidays? Um, so I, I went to Universal Studios and I went, I, I met Spider-Man. Very then, good. And then I went to the, the, the shops. And I bought like the Spider-Man mug, I bought a minion teddy and and then and then I went to Oh, what are you painting? My house? Oh, the secret house. How come it's a secret? I can't tell you. How not? You told Jessica. If I told everyone, it wouldn't be a secret, would it? Jessica's my friend. But she's my friend too. How come I'm not your friend then? You can't just be someone's friend just like that, can you? How not? You just can't. You better get your fish painting finished before Mr. Robson comes back. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Nothing. Are you laughing at my fish? No, it's not your fish. <laughs> Jessica saw something funny in my painting. <gasps> There's something funny. Very nice, Mark. Very nice indeed. What were your fish's names again? Sid, salt and sauce? Fish, chips and pickle. I know, I'm winding you up. Which one's this? Fish or chips? Pickle. Of course it is. Keep it up, Mark. Really good. Oh, very nice. What have we got here? Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Is that from your trip? Yeah. Oh, very nice. Ah, oh, it's lovely, the beach. It's very good. Is that the Eiffel Tower? Yeah. Very good. What have we got here? This is going to be Spain, but it's been very hard getting it to be sunny. At least as sunny as it was. How do you do that? Well, if you... Because you'd think a big yellow sun would do that, but it just didn't. Well, My mum says it's the happiest she's ever been, just her and me. So I really want to get it right and make her happy. Finished? Well, I think you're on the right tracks. So and... If you close your eyes... And remember what it looked like. I'm sure your mum will be very impressed. But that's and if you maybe do a bit more painting with a little less running commentary. 
Not a lot going on here, Sam. I was sure you'd already done quite a lot of your house. I started again. Oh? Why? My first one got ruined. It got ruined? You mean you made a mistake? No. I didn't ruin it. You didn't ruin it? Then who did? I don't know. Jessica? I don't know. Did anyone see what happened to Sam's pin? No. No one? Maybe she spilled water when she got up. Sam? Yeah, maybe. Oh, very nice. Does he always get a lift with you? Yes, yeah, since Peter. Why didn't you say what he'd done? He's my friend. I'll ask him about it, but I didn't want to tell on him. I don't like him. Why didn't you tell? I'm not supposed to. What do you mean? Mum says we keep secrets. Me and her. We just tell each other because we can trust each other. You told me about your house. Yeah, and you told everybody. Sorry. And then Mark got all annoyed and my painting got ruined. Mum's right. I can tell your secrets to anyone. I'll see you tomorrow. So, how was it? Not as bad as you thought? It was rotten. A boy ruined my picture. What picture? What did he do? He had to paint a picture. He poured water on it. I wouldn't tell him why we moved, so he ruined my painting. What did Mr Robson say? He was out the glass. When he came back? I didn't tell him. Little animals. That's what boys are. Well, don't you let them get to you. Don't give them the satisfaction. Who was that girl you were talking to? Jessica. She's in my class. She's swimming around. Ah, new friend. There you go, see? Not so bad, eh? Right. I've got something I need to do. Are we not going home? Not right away, no. Where are we going? I'm meeting your dad at the centre. What for? I just need to speak to him about something, all right? Am I coming in with you? I'm not going in. And you can stay in the car. Don't let that little bully get to you. Just you stick to... Jessica. Jessica. Down with you tomorrow. I thought Jessica's mum was taking you. She is, but I just thought I could go in with you if you were leaving at that time. No, but you can't. I'm leaving early. What's it you're looking for? Papa's action man. What do you want that for, darling? Mr. Robson wants us to do a show and tell tomorrow, and I thought I could take in the action. And you're one. taking in a toy. A toy and a doll at that. Surely there's something else you can talk about, sir. No, Dad. It's a really old toy. It was Papa's when he was my age, and I thought I'd take it in to talk about Papa. Right, well, don't be turning on the waterworks. You know, you always start crying when you talk about Papa. 
I won't, Dad. Don't listen to your dad. There's nothing wrong with getting a wee bit teary. Your papa was a great man. Um, I won't get teary. <laughs> Don't listen to your dad. What's that supposed to mean? I, I, I didn't mean... I was joking. Of course he listens to you, don't you, darling? I always listen to you, Dad. Mum was only joking. I knew that. Aye. Well, your mum should think about where and when she makes her jokes. Hey, Princess. How you doing? Okay, Dad. Are we having dinner with you tonight? Uh, no, Samuel. Mum won't let us. Um, I've got this for you. Thanks, Dad. Martin. I'm going to have to go, okay? Okay. Love you. Love you, Dad. Mum. What is it, Jessica? Is it okay if I take this umbrella on school tomorrow? Yeah, of course. Well, haven't I shown dinner? I said yes, Jessica. I don't need a running commentary. Sorry. Mum. What is it, Jessica? Sam got bullied today in school and where must Who's Sam? She's my new friend. She's new to the school. She just moved Well, how am I supposed to know who everyone is if you don't tell me? Honestly. I told you when I got back from school after the first day. Well, I can't keep track of everything that you say, can I? No, Mum, sorry. <clears throat> What's this about someone being bullied? Mum. Yes, love? What do you do if someone you like is bad to you? What do you mean? There's this new girl at school, and Jessica's totally spending all of her time with her, and they're both being rotten to me. Well, Jessica's probably just been friendly. Have you spoken to her about it? Spoken to who? About what? Jessica's ignoring him. Ah, uh, good. It's time to stop palling about with her and get yourself some mates. Jessica is his mate. Can't be palling about with a girl. Boys are mates with That's boys. That's absolute rubbish, Pete. What did you say? No, I was only joking. I just rubbish. Oh, Jessica. I'm talking rubbish, am I? Am I? I'm just having a laugh. Leave her. Leave her. You mind your own business. If she's in trouble, then it's because of you. Hanging about the girls and then crying when they don't like you. Pete. Stay out of it. Dad, stop it. Mind your own business. Give me this dog. Dad, no! And this was Mark? Yes. And you're telling the truth? Yes, Mum, honest. And you didn't say anything to the teacher? No. Right. Well, I'll have a word with Mark tomorrow then. No, Mum, please. Jessica, Mark will hate me just... for telling... It'll be all right. <clears throat> right. Let's get home and get some dinner. What's that? It's a toy doggy. Dad gave it to me. Did he? I'm going to bring it in for show and tell tomorrow. There must be something else you could bring. But I like it, Mum. It reminds me of Dad. Yeah.
Mum? Mum? Are you okay? I don't have to bring the doggy into school tomorrow. Not if you don't want me to. I can bring in something you'd like. It's all right, darling. It's nothing to do with the doggy. You take it into school. Has he been a nuisance? Don't you be running your mouth off and distracting Liz. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Yes, Dad. Is he in trouble? Yeah, he is. So don't be taking any of his rubbish. Don't worry. I won't. You okay? Yeah, I'll tell you about it over coffee. Lots to tell. I look forward to it. See you then. See you. the new girl. Don't start with all your rubbish. Jessica told me all about it. You can make your own way to school from now on. I'll pick you up this afternoon. I don't want to cause your dad any more trouble than he's already got. But from Monday, I won't have a bully in the car. And you can forget the moody face. I doubt you'll be doing that when I've told your dad. No, please, I didn't mean to. Off you go. Mum! Jessica, I won't have you hanging about with a boy who'd do that. But Mum! No! I'm not having it. Understand? What's up? Come on. My grandma gave me this when I went to Pakistan. So when I go to Pakistan again, I can keep my money in it and buy things. Thanks very much, Hisham. Mark, you're going to tell us about your grandpa's antique action, man. On you go. I don't have it. All right. What is it? I forgot it. Not to worry. You can bring it in on Monday and tell us all about it then. Who's next? It's broken. Sorry, Mark. My papa's action man. It got wrapped up in bits. I can't bring it in on Monday. I'm sorry. That's all right, Mark. That's a real shame. In bits. What did you do to it? Is that why your dad was angry this morning? Jessica? No. Yes. But I didn't rip it up. I wouldn't do that. It was my papa's. All right, Mark. Tell you what, let's forget about showing us and maybe you can tell us about your papa, yeah? And I know my dad gets angry and hurts my mum. 
and I know that they shout at each other. And my mum gets very scared when he's like that. But he's my dad and I still love him. He gave me this doggy last night and I wanted to use it to talk about how weird it is, how nice he can be to me and how horrible he can be to her. And it might look like a hat and it might go in your head, but it's not a hat, it's a sombrero. My mum wore it in the evenings. She looks really funny when she wears it, but I could never wear it. I tried one night, but it was way too big and it fell right over my face. And me and my mum laughed. And Saved by the bell. I'm only kidding, Jessica. That was that was a really good, well thought out and funny presentation. Thank you. Right, off you go. I'll see you all on Monday. Uh, Mark, could you hang on a minute, please? Are you okay, Mark? Yeah. You seem a bit sad about your grandpa's action man getting, you said, ripped up? Yeah. Why do you think it was ripped up? I don't know. Is it scary? Yeah, my dad was mad. Was he mad with you? Yeah. No. Yeah, he was, but I wasn't being bad. I'm sure you weren't. What was happening when you felt scared? Dad was shouting at Mum and getting really angry. And it was about me. I tried to help Mum, but it's like Sam said about her dad. My mum's scared of my dad. And your dad uh, didn't like you helping your mum? Do you have to tell my dad? Mark, look, don't worry, OK? You shouldn't have to be in a situation where you're scared in your own home. What I have to do is talk to Mrs. Marshall. She's our child protection teacher, and she'll want to chat with you. There's nothing to worry about. I'll come and see you on Monday, and we'll both go and chat to Mrs. Marshall. Is that OK? Yeah, I don't want Dad getting into trouble or getting angry with Mum. OK, Mark. You head home, OK? I'll come and see you Monday and we'll have a chat again. Yeah. Bye. What do you think Mr. Robson wanted? Thinking you were a painting? No, I think Mark was really upset. His dad was very angry this morning, and I think Mr. Robson was maybe worried about him. We're taking him home, so I'll wait for him in the car. Right, see you on Monday. I'm glad we're friends. Me too. Any trouble with that boy today? Mum, I think his dad is the same with his mum the way dad gets with you. Well, what makes you think that? Just stuff he said. But I think his dad is maybe bad to Mark too. Mr Rawson asked him to stay behind. Don't worry Mum. I'll make sure you're okay. So, you talk to Mark just now? To be honest, I'm at a bit of a loss. We chatted and I'm positive there's protection issues at home. And I feel as if I've just sent Mark away with nothing but a don't worry, you know? I can do that. So little things, eh? Hey, thanks, Rigid. 
I'll do that now if, he, if he's still here. Okay. Bye. Where's Mark? He got kicked behind. What? Did he do something else? No, Mum. I think his dad did something and Mark was upset. I think Mr Robson just wanted to find out what was wrong. But he's been all right with you? Yes. Well, we haven't really spoken since you told him off this morning. Do you have to tell his dad? I think Mark is scared of him. Look, Lib. I was angry this morning. I only said what I said because, well... I, I was worried for you. We can tell Mark that he can still get a lift with us, if you'd like that. Yes, I would. And we... And we don't have to tell his dad. So long as he behaves. He will, Mum. His story about his papa was really nice. How was your sombrero tale? Mr Robson said it was very well thought out. I told him how much fun you and me used to have. Did you? Yes. I could do it again for you at home, if it wouldn't annoy you. Look, Jessica, I've been... Yeah, love, I'd like that. There's Mark now. Mark, wait up. Miss Marsh would like to have a chat with you just now, if that's okay. Mark, look, you've obviously got a lot going on right now, and it must feel as if you don't know what you're doing or what's coming next. I just wanted to say that if you're ever feeling scared or confused or you just want someone to talk to, let me know. Best tell Jessica's mum will get you home. You're not alone, okay? Okay.